I'm just going to put a quick pillow top together. I just, I'm overwhelmed by the response to the one that was on my blog yesterday. So I thought, well, why not make another one? I mean, it's had so many likes on Facebook. And don't get me wrong, I like it. It's not that I don't like it. I'm probably not going to give a lot of uh, instruction here on what I'm doing and why. But I will chat to you. Um, but as I say, it's not that I don't like it. I do like it. Um, but it's not one of my favourites. So really, I'm astounded. But thank you. And thank you especially to the person that bought it. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put Liberty Fabric in this, but I'm not sure which one yet, or how much. The one I had in the pillow yesterday, I have very, very little of that left. Um, because it was only a tiny square that I bought. I didn't buy like, a, I don't ever buy full meters of Liberty Fabric. It's 22 pounds a meter. Um, and you can't, the minimum purchase is half a meter. So I tend to buy half a metre of a couple instead of buying a full metre of one. Um, a full metre of one. So I just want to choose my Liberty fabric really before I go any further. Need to order some more of that. I got that in London, but I can mail order that. I got that at McCulloch and Wallace. Now, that's my absolute favourite Liberty fabric. That is on the pouch I've made for myself that you'll get to see soon. I've used that a lot. That's more of the stuff on the pouch. I have this one that I haven't used very much. Um, I don't know though, it's a bit, I love it, but I think big bits, it's a bit insipid, if you know what I mean. This one is nice, I've used that before on a pillow, so I might use that one actually, so I'll put them away now. This is a pouch I made for myself. Um, I keep my Liberty Fabrics in here. It's got Liberty Fabrics on the surface and that's where I keep my Liberty Fabrics. So I'll put that over there. Get a little bit of this. I've pressed some of this Brodery Anglaise. It's left dots on the muslin. Um, let me cut a little bit of this off. I never ever cut, sorry, press fabric that I've embroidered though. This is purely plain fabric with no embellishment on it, so that's why I'm being liberal with the iron. Okay. So let's have a bit of this. This, I remember this one was popular too. Um, it's got an edge like a dog's dinner. I'm just going to do that. I want to check some of them. I'm trying to be quick because I think on my blog um, I can easily lose people's attention. So that needs to move that way. more like it. Now how much of this do I want? Do I want? Um, how wide do I want this to be? I'm on my ironing board here so if you feel that this is wobbly it's my ironing board that's wobbling not the camera or anything. Um, and I always put a towel on my ironing board when I'm ironing fabrics because I iron all kinds of stuff on here, like workwear, men's workwear and stuff, so it's not really, not really suitable just to go straight in with um, fabric on top. This is something I bought in London from a vintage shop, it's obviously been cut from a garment, uh, it's still got the seams in it and everything. So I'm going to cut down here. I won't throw that piece to the right of me, to the left of you away, I'll keep that definitely, but I just wanted a, I didn't want a seam in this, and I'll try and keep my fabrics, and I don't want to use this edge, 
because I can use edges for so many different things. So I'm going to cut that off. I won't totally separate it yet. Just doing this by eye, guessing. And it seems to be working. So now if I cut this down here, it's got a big hole in it there, can you see that? That proves it's vintage, but it's all right, I'll stitch over that, I'm not bothered about that. I see that as evidence of a previous life for this cloth. that to one side and press that obviously I'm going to pin this when I've done this but I probably won't pin it on camera I'll pin it for the pictures right let's check again right now I want some more of this Liberty down here so yeah um yesterday am i in and off camera you can see yesterday's pillow what can i say wow that's all i can say fabulous response thank you i do like this it's pretty so I'm going to have to remember, I don't want it halfway. So maybe I'm going to leave it like that and cut it like this and lay something on top of it. Hold this up. How long are we? Oh, seven minutes. That's way too long for a blog video. Not because I mind, but because you just probably all fell asleep. I know. Right, and now a little bit more of this, and we're done. We are done. So. We're done. Done, done, done. Just need to press that now. Oh, I'm so sorry it's took me this long. Mind you, speedy run through. It's like ready, steady cook. It's like ready, steady iron. Ready, steady cooks like a, a timed cookery show in the UK, for those of you who don't know. Et voila. There done done so under pressure against the clock there what do you reckon and there'll be pictures i'm going to pin it now and there'll be pictures i'm turning off